Crown Ridge, I just went to the mailbox and I got my MI Gardener and my Baker's Creek. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go home and look at all of them. So I'm so excited. I just came back from the mailbox and like I said, I got my MI Gardener package and also my Baker's Creek package. And who knows what this is. It's not what I've been waiting for. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna tear into these here in a little bit and I will take you along with me. Stay tuned. Okay, so now it's time to open them. We'll just do Baker's Creek first. I ordered tons of seeds from in my gardener. You can't go wrong at 99 cents a packet. And some of them have hundreds of seeds in them. And then I went to Baker's Creek for certain ones that I couldn't find other places. So, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I'm so excited. The Mongolian Giant. I cannot wait to do that one this year. Um, some of the ones that I want there, especially for, was this Atomic Grape, Cherry Tomato, and then the Creamberries. I got two. I got the blue. Uh, cream and then the blue. So I'm super excited about that. Um, look at this watermelon. My husband loves watermelon. Cantaloupe and honeydew I'll make his, his mouth itch and the same thing with my boys. So he said just do watermelon and he'll be good. So I've got to come up with a way to either freeze this, juice this, because I plan on making a lot. Purple dragon carrots. Oh and some free seeds. Kohlrabi. I've been researching this. They say it's hard. You can use the leaves, um, kind of like a cabbage. You can cut it up and put it um, in sautés and in salads. But I did not take the risk and actually order this, so that is exciting. Oh, the other watermelon, Moons and Stars. I was excited about that from Baby Love. And this one has a really light green skin. So, got those for them. And then I had to add some more beans. So got some dragon tongue and some regular old homesteading beans. So Baker's Creek is really quick. It was only like four or five days from the time that I ordered them. Super excited about getting these going. Let's open MI Gardener. Got my handy dandy little kid uh, basketball scissors. Uh oh, almost cut the paper. So Baker's Creek doesn't look like it had a inventory list or a receipt in it. Oh, it did. Very nice, very nice. This one looks like it has an invoice as well. I ordered a lot of seeds. Like a lot. Like a lot. Like more than 50. And there they are. Let's take a look at a few of these. Purple lettuce. Look how pretty this is. I just wanted to try it because it's so pretty. That would look so good on a salad plate. Arugula. I am in love with Brussels sprouts. No one else in the house loves them, but I love them. If you do a nice like rosette sauce with some onion, oh my God, it's amazing. Feather frilled kale. You walked the whole way here? I did. You did? We didn't like them. Are you, you out of breath? Whoa, whoa. Whoa. I try to get in These there are my that. seeds. Look at them. They wanted to. Look at all of them. Aren't they amazing? Oh, what's up, you too? Say hi. Oh. Shake, 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 shake. Yes. Oh, so I'm shaking my squash. Okay, be careful, please. No fighting. Boys. Parker was shaking my straight neck squash. Oh, toothache plant. I did some research on this. You can grow this in your pots in your front yard but you could also use them if um, you ever need some kind of numbing agent. Super cool. 
golden peas, onions. I'm a huge onion eater. If I could um, just cut open onions and eat it like an apple, I do, and I have before. These are just so pretty. Scarlet kale. Birdhouse gourd. I thought that would be fun for the kids. Whipsipinakin peach tomato. I totally butchered that name, but I cannot wait to have so many tomatoes. Silver fir tree. Trophy tomato. Big rainbow. It's huge. Black prince. Has a little bit of color to it. I did a black crim last year and I loved it. They were huge, beautiful. The outside didn't crack. Triple L crop. Floridade. Mr. Stripey. I've heard a lot of good things about Mr. Stripey. I ordered two of them. Oh, Cherokee purple. Beautiful. Goodness. Pineapple tomato. I've heard a lot of good things about those too. Never done okra. I don't really know how to make it. I know I love to eat it. I know it gets tall. Um, I know that you need to take them when they're, they're soft and succulent. Goodness, it's what? Look at this cucumber. Does that not look awesome? Jelly melon. Some Swiss chard. Oh, me gardener. Some more Swiss chard. Spinach, broccoli. Oh, loofah gourds. I bought them last year from Burpee at Atwood's, but I misplaced them. So these are just for fun. You can eat them whenever they're um, they're young and soft, but otherwise you let them grow and they get um, big and then they can dry out and then you can make loofahs and you can harvest the seeds. Two. Little potato. Kind of looks like a kiwi and kind of looks like a, kind of like a cantaloupe. Thought I would try that. Cucumber, um, Punakira cucumber, looks pretty cool. Armenian yard long, also looked really, really fun. Cauliflower, zucchini, you know, just the regular staples. Beets, I tried beets last year for the very first time. I got a local farmer package where you pay per week and they deliver it. And um, I did everything that the internet said to do to cook it and I, I, I you know, peeled the outside and I wrapped it in foil and I baked it in the oven and oh my God, it was so good. It wasn't thick like a potato, but it wasn't soft and mushy. It was kind of the in-between and it just, oh, the taste was so wonderful. Fennel, purple carrots. So excited about purple carrots. Some more loofah. We are huge eggplant fans. Haven't tried this variety. Haven't grown eggplants myself. Um, but they're so expensive at the store. So I'm hoping to have some good luck. I also bought some other seeds at uh, a local store that were the regular Black Beauty eggplants. Blue shelling snow. You know, I'm trying to put purple and red and yellows and oranges into my garden. Just like this. Orange pepper. Want to have so much variety. Romanesca broccoli. I bought this last year for me and my my front neighbor, Tina, and um, I don't think she grew it, and I misplaced it. But now I have all my seeds together in a big, huge Tupperware draw, and I've got them all sorted by type, kind, and which garden I'm gonna put them in. Some more Swiss chard. Just some plain sunflowers. I just wanna have a good backdrop. I wanna have bees and more insects come, and I just think they're beautiful. Purple beans, basil, you can never have enough basil growing everywhere. Some chocolate beauty sweet peppers. Awesome. And then Jimmy Nardello's sweet peppers as well. And some squash. So that is all of my beautiful, beautiful seeds. And I'm so excited about them. So I hope to share with you as I go through all my gardening and where I'm gonna put them in the beds, um, I'll do more videos and then we'll watch the progression as the year uh, goes through. These three, I think, are the most exciting ones. We love cherry tomatoes. We buy them all the time at the store. Um, so we're gonna grow these organically and hopefully they have a really good um, harvest. And I heard that they taste amazing. 
The other two that I'm really excited about are these. Royal Burgundy Bean and the Dragon's Tongue. Like I said, I'm trying to put more color, more colors, more vitamins and minerals. So I just think they're gonna be so cool. Canned, um, feeding them to my family for dinner. I am in seed heaven. So when I tell you I'm ready, I am ready as far as I've acquired all my seeds. I, everything is here, I'm ready to go. I just have to do the planning um, for companion planting. And this is what I have to work with. These are tons of different pumpkins and gourds that I saved and the seed saver. These are a whole bunch of seeds that I found unpacking. And then here are all my seeds, categorized by bed and by type. And then of course my marigolds. With companion planting, everything I've read said that uh, put marigolds in there, it'll attract certain bugs. It'll also um, not attract certain bugs. So it kind of helps to be a bug deterrent. One thing I haven't done is onions. So I've gotten some onion seeds and I'm kind of Kind of do a little contest with them. I'm going to do a bit of onion seeds and then I bought these at Tractor Supply. They are onion sprouts. So we'll do a little competition. We'll put these in their own bed and then we'll do the onion seeds in their own bed and we'll just kind of put it on our videos as we go. We'll kind of do a week to week progression on all my seeds. I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't too informational, but it is so exciting. It's February 19th. Spring is around the corner. Our last frost date's always around April 15th. And for some reason, Oklahoma, the weather gets upset. She thinks it's summer. She thinks it's winter, all on the same day usually. So I might have to actually um, cover some of my brassicas because I am gonna go ahead and plant those in the next few weeks. I'm going to direct sow them. I am not gonna start them in my six packs or any of my flats. I think they'll do better um, in the ground, in the new soil. You guys, you have to look at this. Bonnie. She's supposed to be protecting goats, but I think she's protecting the front door. Well, thank you for joining me for this short little video. If you like my page and you want to follow all my gardening dreams and my homesteading with the goats and the turkeys and the chickens, and I have a donkey um, and five dogs and two crazy kids that are so fun loving and outdoors, they're men's men. So if you want to follow us, please subscribe and I will see you soon.